low risk tb labs now in the tb labs there are different levels of risk and how we can investigate these levels of risk it is dependent on the formation of aerosols and it is also depending upon the procedures which we are performing in the tb labs so these two important things measure the level of risk one is the aerosol generation and the second thing is the procedures that we are performing in the tb labs so according to different levels of risk we have divided tb lab into three groups low risk tb labs moderate risk tb labs and the high risk tb labs so now let's talk about the low risk tb labs it is so called low risk because there is minimum biosafety requirements which are needed in the low risk tb labs a uh, tb lab mein hum jo first step hai for the identification of mycobacterium tuberculosis is simply microscopy in order to identify mycobacterium tuberculosis through light microscope we use a stain known as zeal nelson staining and the first step of this staining is the preparation of smear now during preparation of smear there are less chances of the formation of aerosols generation because sputum is little bit viscous and there are less chances of getting the aerosols uh, either by the workers or they can contaminate the environment so there are very less chances of contamination of the personnel or of the environment through sputum spear preparation by direct sputum now whenever we are performing smear uh, we say that there are minimal chances of the formation of aerosol we don't say that there are zero chances because once we are preparing the smear allow it to air dry and the second step of the staining is fixation in fixation we maintain the morphology of the bacteria but the fixation process kills the bacteria so after fixation the slide is safe to handle but if we are preparing the smear then we have to be little bit careful because there are chances of minimum aerosol generation now the second uh, procedure in which there are chances of uh, low or concentration or there are chances of low volume of infectious material that is of mycobacterium tuberculosis is the preparation of specimens for automatic nucleic acid purification assay now if you want to purify dna for example before performing polymerase chain reaction then in this case again the low risk is there for the formation of aerosols so in the low risk biosafety labs we require minimum biosafety requirements and it is uh, and there are chances of two um, procedures first is the smear formation and the second is the specimen formation for nucleic acid purification so these are the two procedures in which there are low risk of aerosol generation now there are some factors that can increase this low risk towards high risk whenever there is improper bench spaces as in the tb lab there must be proper bench spaces and every experiment should be performed on a separate bench space for example if we want to perform staining then it should be away from the sample collection area it should be away from the administrative area then the second factor that increases the risk of uh, spreading mycobacterium tuberculosis is the specimen container that may get leak for uh, for example if you are collecting the specimen from the patient suspected of having mycobacterium tuberculosis then use durable sterilized container but if somehow leakage has occurred then order the specimen again and decontaminate that area as soon as possible 
Now, if you want to transport the specimen from the collection point to the clinical lab or to the diagnostic lab, you have to put the container or the test tube in an upright position. Now, the third uh, factor that increases the risk of mycobacterium tuberculosis uh, spreading is the is that when specimen is manipulated carelessly, when good microbiological assays are not performed by the workers. So this is again the chance that the low risk TB labs move towards the high risk TB labs. Then the fourth factor that increases the risk of infection is when we shake the specimen vigorously. For example, Vortex lab, uh, is not or shaking system is not allowed in the TB labs because vortex shaking, grinding, um, all these centrifugation even they can uh, le they lead to the generation of aerosols. But somehow we cannot ignore the importance of small equipment that is of centrifuge machine. So in some cases we need mixing properly. Then ventilation may be poor uh, due to which the risk of infection increases. Keep in mind for the low risk lab, directional flow of air is required. So mechanical ventilation system is there, but if a local climate is appropriate, then you can use the natural ventilation system by simply opening the windows of the lab. 